Anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies are a group of autoantibodies, mainly of the IgG type, against antigens in the cytoplasm of neutrophil granulocytes and monocytes. They are detected as a blood test in a number of autoimmune disorders, but are particularly associated with systemic vasculitis, so-called ANCA-associated vasculitides. Anchor IF patterns. Immunofluorescence on ethanol fixed neutrophils is used to detect ANCA, although formalin fixed neutrophils may be used to help differentiate ANCA patterns. ANCA can be divided into four patterns when visualized by IF. Cytoplasmic ANCA, CANCA, perinuclear ANCA, and atypical ANCA, also known as XANCA. CANCA shows cytoplasmic granular fluorescence with central interlobular accentuation. CANCA shows cytoplasmic staining that is usually uniform and has no interlobular accentuation. PANCA has three subtypes, classical PANCA, PANCA without nuclear extension and granulocyte-specific antinuclear antibody. Classical PANCA shows perinuclear staining with nuclear extension, PANCA without nuclear extension has perinuclear staining without nuclear extension and GSANA shows nuclear staining on granulocytes only. ANCA often shows combinations of both cytoplasmic and perinuclear staining. ANCA antigens, the CANCA antigen is specifically proteinase 3. PANCA antigens include myeloperoxidase and bacterial permeability increasing factor. Other antigens exist for CANCA, however many are as yet unknown. Classical PANCA occurs with antibodies directed to MPO. PANCA without nuclear extension occurs with antibodies to BPI, cathopsin G, elastase, lactoferrin and lysozyme. GSANA are antibodies directed to granulocyte-specific nuclear antigens. Atypical ANCA are thought to be antigens similar to that of the PANCAs, however may occur due to differences in neutrophil processing. Other less common antigens include HMG1, HMG2, alpha-enolase, catalase, beta-glucuronidase, azurocidin, actin and HLAMP2. ELISA Enzyme-linked immunism and assay is used in diagnostic laboratories to detect ANCAs. Although IF can be used to screen for many ANCAs, ELISA is used to detect antibodies to individual antigens. The most common antigens used on an ELISA microT to plate are MPO and PO3, which are usually tested for after a positive IF test. Development It is poorly understood how ANCA are developed although several hypotheses have been suggested. There is probably a genetic contribution, particularly in genes controlling the level of immune response a euro although genetic susceptibility is likely to be linked to an environmental factor, some possible factors including vaccination or exposure to silicates. Two possible mechanisms of ANCA development are postulated. Although neither of these theories answers the question of how the different ANCA specificities are developed, and there is much research still being undertaken on the development of ANCA. Theory of molecular mimicry Microbial superantigens are molecules expressed by bacteria and other microorganisms that have the power to stimulate a strong immune response by activation of T cells. These molecules generally have regions that resemble self-antigens that promote a residual autoimmune response a euro. This is the theory of molecular mimicry. Staphylococcal and streptococcal superantigens have been characterized in autoimmune diseases a euro. The classical example in post-group A streptococcal rheumatic heart disease, where there is similarity between M proteins of streptococcus pyogens to cardiac myosin and laminin. It has also been shown that up to 70% of patients with granulomatosis with polyangitis are chronic nasal carriers of Staphylococcus aureus, with carriers having an eight times increased risk of relapse. This would therefore be considered a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Theory of defective apoptosis, neutrophil apoptosis, or programmed cell death, is vital in controlling the duration of the early inflammatory response thus restricting damage to tissues by the neutrophils. 
ANCA may be developed either via ineffective apoptosis or ineffective removal of apoptotic cell fragments, leading to the exposure of the immune system to molecules normally sequestered inside the cells. This theory solves the paradox of how it could be possible for antibodies to be raised against the intracellular antigenic targets of ANCA. Role in disease, disease associations, ANCAs are associated with small vessel vasculitides including granulomatosis with polyangitis, microscopic polyangitis, primary pochy immune necrotizing crescentic glomerulonephritis, Churg Strauss syndrome and drug-induced vasculitides. PR3-directed CANCA is present in 80-90% of granulomatosis with polyangitis, 20-40% of microscopic polyangitis, 20-40% of pochy immune crescentic glomerulonephritis and 35% of Churg Strauss syndrome. CANCA is present in 80% of cystic fibrosis and also in inflammatory bowel disease, primary sclerosing cholangitis and rheumatoid arthritis. PANCA with MPO specificity is found in 50% of microscopic polyangitis, 50% of primary pochy immune necrotizing crescentic glomerulonephritis and 35% of Churg Strauss syndrome. PANCA with specificity to other antigens are associated with inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, drug-induced vasculitis, autoimmune liver disease, drug-induced syndromes and parasitic infections. A typical ANCA is associated with drug-induced systemic vasculitis, inflammatory bowel disease and rheumatoid arthritis. The presence or absence of ANCA cannot indicate presence or absence of disease and results are correlated with clinical features. The association of ANCA and disease activity remains controversial. However, the reappearance of ANCA after treatment can indicate a relapse. Pathogenesis Although the pathogenic role of ANCA is still controversial, in vitro and animal models support the idea that the antibodies have a direct pathological role in the formation of small vessel vasculitides. MPO and PR3 specific ANCA can activate neutrophils and monocytes through their FC and FAB2 receptors, which can be enhanced by cytokines which cause neutrophils to display MPO and PR3 on their surface. Activated neutrophils adhere to endothelial cells where degranulation occurs. This releases free oxygen radicals and lytic enzymes, resulting in damage to the endothelium via the induction of necrosis and apoptosis. Furthermore, neutrophils release chemoattractive signaling molecules that recruit more neutrophils to the endothelium, acting as a positive feedback loop. Animal models have shown that MPO antibodies can induce necrotizing crescentic glomerulonephritis and systemic small vessel vasculitis. In these animal models the formation of glomerulonephritis and vasculitis can occur in the absence of T-cells, however neutrophils must be present. Although the direct pathogenic role of ANCA is the most accepted theory to date of ANCA-associated vasculitis pathogenesis, the theory still fails to explain the observation that ANCA serum concentration does not always correlate disease activity or relapses, where high ANCA types can be found in patients, and in some normal individuals, with no sign of vasculitis. In addition, in patients with active disease, treated with rituximab, an anti-CD20 antibody which removes circulating B cells, Clinical remission correlates more to the decreasing number of circulating B cells than decrease in ANCA type, which in some patient does not change during treatment. The same study found that clinical relapse in some patients were in association with the return of circulating B cells. Based on the above observations and that ANCA reactive B cells can be found in circulation in patients with AAV, an alternative hypothesis have been proposed assigning a direct pathogenic role of these cells, whereby activated neutrophils and ANCA reactive B cells engage in intercellular crosstalk, which leads not only to neutrophil degranulation and inflammation but also to the proliferation and differentiation of ANCA reactive B cells. However, this hypothesis remains to be tested. History ANCAs were originally described in Davis A. Al in 1982 in segmental necrotizing glomerulonephritis, and by Van der Waalde Al in 1985 in Wegeners. 
the second international ANCA workshop, held in the Netherlands in May 1989, fixed the nomenclature on perinuclear versus cytoplasmic patterns, and the antigens MPO and PO3 were discovered in 1988 and 1989, respectively. International ANCA workshops have been carried out every two years. References External links Images of Pianca and C. Anca, fluorescence images of ANCA, anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.